A unique class is in progress at Songoloi Primary School on the slopes of Mount Eburu, east of Mau Forest in Kenya's southwestern highlands. Songoloi is among the nearly 100 schools bordering the Mau Forest complex that have adopted a tailored syllabus, one that includes lessons in conservation as part of the curriculum. We saw the pupils and schools as the, the best platform uh, to reach out to the community and also create awareness to other people about the importance of environment. The Mao Forest Complex includes about 400,000 hectares and is known as East Africa's largest closed canopy forest. It is considered one of Kenya's water towers, named so because of the crucial role it plays in the collection and storage of water. According to satellite data, from Global Forest Watch, Mao Forest lost 19% of its tree cover between 2001 and 2022. The United Nations Environment Programme says degradation of important ecosystems is a widespread problem in Africa. 60% of the population of African continent depend on their own resources which are now really threatened and some are on risk of extension. The introduction of a conservation education curriculum by Charity Trust, Rhino Ag, in partnership with Kenya's Ministry of Education, aims to incorporate protection of resources into the country's new competency-based curriculum. We are investing long term in conservation knowledge so that we start from the grassroots going up so that these people in a gradual way, they will be changing. Nashipai Le Salon is an 8th grader at Songoloi. I want to encourage young people to love the environment. Do not cut down trees. We should nurture trees and plant many of them so we can have a better environment. Scientists largely blame the degradation of the Mao forest on human activities. The conservation curriculum teaches students about the impact of charcoal burning and illegal logging and hunting, as well as how to reduce activities that harm the environment. For the last few years that we've been working with the community, we've seen there's a lot of change now. Because they are the communities now, they are embracing uh, this project. And they are owning it now. In 2021, the UN launched its Decade on Ecosystem Restoration, a flagship initiative to spearhead restoration of degraded ecosystems. Ben Sada of the UN Environment Programme says indigenous knowledge and community involvement will play an important role. They are the ones who will apply restoration activities in the ground and not those that they have been Plan, plan for it. With large populations in Africa dependent on natural resources, experts say the threat of losing such assets can leave communities on the continent vulnerable. Juma, Majanga, VOA News, Mau Eburu, Kenya.